everyone, my name is Sasha. I'm so happy to see you here on this tutorial. Uh, this picture will be in acrylic. Um, for this picture I used canvas, 30-40 cm size. This is uh, China, but can be actually any Asian landscape. So please, for this picture, prepare canvas, acrylic colors, some brushes and water. And don't force yourself, just uh, try to enjoy the process and let's start. So now we will start with colors. First, I'll do the sky and water and some mountains on the second plan. Main color is white. A little bit of sky blue not too much because uh, my sky will be almost white very 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 light color and just a small drop of the black color so sky gonna be blue and a little bit gray for the first I'm mixing those colors, but this is quite too dark. So I'm gonna spend this color for the bridge first. It will be light for the stones here. And now I'm just making this color really, really light. So I'm mixing white. It's mostly only white. And a little bit of blue. And now we need to make a gradient. Actually this picture based on gradients. So first you do in sky and from top uh, to bottom you go in lighter and lighter step by step you need to add more and more white color so gradient is when we blend colors between each other and now it's um, blue and gray blended with white when you come into the mountains closer and closer you should go to the very white color For blending colors you can use any sponge or do it just with a brush. And take more and more white color. And please, when you're making sky, uh, make a horizontal brush strokes because uh, you need to choose one direction and follow all the way. Usually when we paint in sky, we are doing from side to side. Try to be careful around the mountains, but it's not very important. So you can uh, go a little bit over the mountains, a little bit on them, and we will uh, color it over after. It's acrylic, it dries so fast, so it's not gonna be a problem.
and it's totally fine if your color doesn't blend it uh, really till perfect. Now next step is mountains. So here we're doing uh, mountains which are far away from us. So here we are starting with a light blue color. You can see two layers of the mountains which are closer to us and more far. And here uh, for those which are far we are doing very light color light blue so it's sky blue again mixed with white and again we make in gradient when we going down so when you go down you need to just add more and more white For the each mountain we're doing the same. And here we don't need to blend really perfect because here um, there is some texture of mountains, there are some trees growing on them and it um, can be blended by finger. Now I'll do it a little bit faster. And now I'm making mountain which is uh, a little bit closer to me, so that was a little bit more dark. And next step is working with water. So here, for the first uh, plant, I'm just making it white, really, really white, uh, because it's a reflection from the sky. And this blue color I also need to add here because there is reflections from those mountains which we made already. So now we can use this blue uh, color, light sky blue. To make it here.
So first just paint all the water with white. And after, uh, with the steel horizontal br brush strokes, I'm making blue lines to the side, from the side to side, from side to side. But try to keep your silhouettes, silhouettes of the mountains. And now I'm doing this um, reflection here with a little bit more gray and green color. So it's this kind of uh, turquoise green. And also I'm coloring the side. Uh, that's not must, but you can color the sides always when you're painting. And it will make your um, artwork a little bit um, like more finished. Yeah, so that's gonna be reflection from this upper mountain. And sometimes I'm just doing small, very very small lines to build this um, effect of, of water. The next step is mountains which are a little bit closer to us. So for that uh, we need a little bit more colors. And now we are going to make some mountains which are closer to us. So for that I'm adding some turquoise green. It's a kind of cool green. And blending this with blue and again gray color. I hope you can see it. So uh, this layer of the mountains gonna be a little bit darker than previous one. And also I'm using a small piece of ultramarine color. It will make it a little bit more dark and we'll add some different more interesting colors to the mountains and again we're doing the same but don't make your uh, silhouette too perfect Because it's again mountains with the trees on them and it cannot be perfect. It's always something different, something interesting. And again we're making gradients. So you can see I'm adding some more white to this color and blending 
step by step with top of these mountains. And we're doing exactly the same with all the mountains here. Again, you can see how I'm doing gradient. You can still mix it with a finger or with brush. Try to separate each mountain from each. You can change a little bit the colors of these mountains, but tone, I mean the darkness, should be same for almost all of them. So here you can see I'm not going to the white color, I'm just doing different colors, different tones when I'm going down. It's not white. But it's just lighter than top. And this mountain is going to be the same like those two.
Now I'm adding a little bit more ultramarine and I want to make this mountain more bright than previous one because you see my previous is quite dark uh, but the color here I would like to make a little bit more intensive so that means I'm adding more um, less black and more ultramarine and uh, cool green color and I'm even trying to make some texture to build the form not fields now so now we still are gonna make the last mountain and here we will do the most bright colors but it's still it's a little bit brighter it's now more green more open color but uh, I'm adding some ultramarine steel to this one because it's far and you can make brush strokes like a half circles a little bit um, like curly to make the grass effect so we are coming closer and closer to first plan, step by step. Even some brown I would like to add. So you see now it's three basic colors. Uh, brown which is umber. Uh, it's like dark brown. Some green like grass green and ultramarine pay attention please it's not blue it's ultramarine to make it really dark we are coming closer and closer but you see that color is still not too open not too bright it's still quite dark And I'm coloring the sides too. And you see, as I uh, haven't planned my colors very well, uh, sometimes on my brush there is like a small surprise, but it's totally okay, it's fine because it makes again this picture more alive, more natural, because nothing is perfect in nature, everything is just 
spontaneous things. Uh, there is no same leaves, there is no same mountains, no same form. So it's totally fine if sometimes it's not perfectly blended. No worry about the result, try to just enjoy the moment. And you will see your skills will grow up very, very, very well. And here is also some trees, so I'm um, doing it with a dry brush effect. I'm just um, touching the color and touching the canvas. Pom, 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 pom. So you see, it's not brush strokes really, it's just a small, small touches. Not too high trees, yeah, because uh, they're still far from us. Mm -hmm. And now we're finishing this part. You can make it as curly as you want, but still, in this mountain it still should be a little bit of white. So uh, as you can see on my mixing plate, I mix all the colors on the one place, because I'm always using something from this side, something from that side. So it's always a mix of everything. It will also help you to keep your whole picture in the balance, in the color balance. And now I'm doing second plan of the rice fields. Uh, so still I'm using same colors, but a little bit lighter. And don't forget, now we are doing horizontal brush strokes. Because it's flat. It's fields. It's, um, we can see this from the side. And now we're doing only horizontal brush strokes. And now we're going closer, so more bright colors, more open colors. I took yellow okra, I took lemon yellow and uh, yellow green, mixing them together with a little bit of brown. And now I'm trying on the first plan, yeah, yeah, I like this color, it's what I need. So now I don't, I'm not adding any white, and first I'm just doing this piece uh, of earth only with this green color it will be just a background and after I will add some more details it will look different
Now you can already feel how different are those two colors. You can see it's like uh, both green on top and here, but here it's so warm, yeah? It's very, very, very light. It's very yellow and fresh color for the grass. But on the second plan, you can see like, mm, it gives us a um, feeling of the air, of the space, depth between mm, us, between uh, someone who are <laughs> looking at this landscape, yeah, and those mountains. So now I'm coming back to the second plan and now I'm mixing something in between of this bright uh, green and blue. So again you can see I'm still using the same space on my mixing plate and I'm mixing those warm colors and blue together. It's not that bright as on first plan, but some lines can be different. So now we're just doing horizontal brush strokes to make all these colors um, different. As you see now. Okay, so now we just continue to make the um, rice fields and still I'm adding some yellow and brown and green to the um, let's say second plan and now don't be scared please to paint over the uh, man and buffalo uh, not much but a little bit is okay totally fine because again we will make it um, we will paint it over after so try to make it as much closer as possible and here we need to use just different colors to make uh, these lines different. These all horizontal brush, st brush strokes just play with the colors, okay? Don't make it too dark, don't make it too white, but play between of those four colors. So light green, some ultramarine, brown and yellow. and go around this water And here between of this uh, fields and the buffalo, um, this space, this empty space is water. And now I'd like to add some grass. We will work here with the first plan a little bit more with the grass but now i'm doing again uh first layer that's actually second layer
and now I'd like to change my brush to take this one with a tiny small end it's still synthetic um, but the form is a little bit different and now we'll just continue to work with the grass Uh, and also it's time to add some earth on the first plan so I'm taking some yellow okra and uh, dark brown and sometimes even some white When you're making grass, make sure you're starting from down and going up, down and up with each grass. Okay, so now we need to come back to our uh, second plan. And here uh, I will do water first. So it's just white color and some blue after. And now I'd like to add some reflections on the water. I have a flat brush by the way and it helps me to make those lines. So now I'm mixing white, blue, some turquoise green and a little bit of brown. And still continue to work with the second plan uh, around the man. So this is reflections on the water uh, 
from mountains maybe it's quite too dark um, but I'll add some light later so now I'm just trying to repeat the same colors as mountains has but change it a little bit closer to green Okay, and now I can use this color but mixed a little bit more with brown uh, for reflections from the bridge. and some more green to do the reflections on the on the middle so here base color actually uh, brown because beach is from the made from the stones and uh, it's more brown but as soon as uh, this is reflection on the water it makes a little bit uh, green shades and don't forget to make some lines to the sides Here I also, uh, right now I'm doing some reflections from the grass. I don't have grass yet, but uh, those reflections on the water I made already. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this result. And uh, I add a little bit um, more reflection on the right side, on my water, you can see it already. So for this I mixed... Um, turquoise green some brown and some white and now i'm coming back to the bridge area uh, but now there is a grass yeah uh, still uh, rice fields on the second plan and i'm just making nice green color for that A little bit more working on the right side with this reflection from the mountain uh, so the goal for me now is to color all the white spaces everywhere And now I'm just uh, creating like a background for all the details. So our um, top is ready, but other things needs to be more details. Uh, needs to be more in details, you know.
some more white and brown and ultramarine of course if it's um, if it's very open color it doesn't look natural so it's dark uh, brown umber color some ultramarine and a little bit of white because it's still not the first plan if it's not the closest to us we um, cannot use very open color only if it's silhouette so we can use dark but here shouldn't be too dark yeah and actually half of the bridge here is dark so we make a line here and now I'm beginning to make uh, some stone texture Now it's time for the buffalo, so first is brown and black color. Again, it's just a base. And same color I'm using for the men and after we will add some shadows and light so now I took some black and doing shadows on the right side and on the bottom of the buffalo I lost his leg actually so now I'm repainting this And also using this same color for the bridge for some shadows so here is the most dark space because it's deep shadow Now I'll make it a little bit closer to you and you will see uh, some more details here for the bridge for the stones. Okay and now it's time to still make some uh, more details. So first I will do um, I will fix water part. Uh, I will do a little bit more water behind the before actually before the buffalo head uh, for this I will use white color and some blue here so white first and also I'd like to um, make here a little bit more water just a small small line to make it more interesting and then uh, let's work now with the stones uh, with the bridge uh, so for this yeah 
I'm just painting the color from the brush. So for the stones uh, on the bridge, let's uh, use some yellow okra and some white color and maybe some gray. So actually here now we need to build the form, light and shadows on the bridge. So for the first, uh, let's start with the light. Just yellow, uh, okra and white. And now look, I'm finding this line where the form changes and I'm just doing some small lines to show the light on the stones. It can be horizontal lines, it can be vertical lines. So my recommendation for you when you're making details is to open this uh, video in new window and you can see how the reference look like. And you can just watch and repeat each small line. But it's not so important to make it exactly the same, right? So it just has to be... I'm like making small squares or circles make sure all your stones are a little bit different from each other and here on top of the bridge i'm making it uh, not lines but um, like flat surfaces and between of them i'm leaving small space Step by step, line by line. Lines on the uh, back side, where is shadow. Also on the reflections, try to repeat the same. Step by step, line by line. Mm -hmm. Now you can see uh, a little bit closer how it looks like. And now we still continue to make the details. So now you can see buffalo and men a little bit better. And the bridge too. And we are taking the... Um, Let's say small brush now. Like this one. Medium and small. Very, very thin brush. And now. So now we will work with the man and buffalo and I'm just mixing gray color. I'm using white and gray. Uh, sorry, white and black to make it gray. And we will build now light and shadows on these two objects. Uh, so yeah, like like this, you uh, you can see better, I think. So first, shadows, only black color, uh, and I'm doing some small things. So imagine our light is on top 
and a little bit on the left side and that means all the right sides will be in shadow and also his pants inside so it's uh, inside side they also will be very very dark and under the arm too Some shadows for the buffalo, also with black color. Uh, I will not comment too much here, so please watch what I'm doing and it's everywhere would be shadows. Uh, on these objects first, on the buffalo and on the man. And now light. So here, to make it really bright and attractive, I'm using just white color and a little bit of grey. So I'm mixing uh, this black and white between with grey. and some light for the man uh, so you're doing line on his belly and then you blend it up
so now it's time for the small sticks, uh, for the small details on this man. And now it's time for the legs and arm. So here I'm using a red brown color, some ochre and white. And now I'm going to be focused a little bit more on the stones here, uh, where is buffalo and man. So first I'm just doing some dark uh, details. Uh, let's say I'm building silhouettes of the stones with a black color, almost black. Uh, usually instead of using just black, it's better to uh, use dark brown and ultramarine.
So actually I'm just making more and more details on the bridge by mixing some different uh, colors uh, brown, white, still some gray color little bit of okra and now I'm just doing uh, a little bit more light on the reflections actually if be honest we can stop here now so um, it looks already finished but I just want to make it even more realistic so I would like to add some more details especially the light in the reflection of the bridge Some light on the man's head and a little bit light on the stones too. So now I'm still mixing some more colors um, and we will continue with more details. No worry guys, we are very very close to finish. So here I will show you what exactly I'm doing. Okay, so it's cool green and some yellow and brown. Mixed together. And it even can can be a little bit more of ultramarine. So it should be almost black color, but never take black uh, if it's about grass. And now I will do just some small grasses Make sure that your uh, paint is quite wet and that your brush is very very thin and we can make small grass here. So now everywhere around the buffalo build these silhouettes of the grass with your very dark uh, green color.
and also everywhere uh, work with the grass with the same color I'm just adding more and more and more details and here for the reflections uh, you need to add just a little bit white to exactly uh, this color to exactly the same and reflection just gonna be a little bit lighter than your grass Also adding some reflection uh, from the mountain too and here I would like to make the shadow on the um, so here is the size of the fields yeah and we need to show this depth we need to show this size here You can make a little bit more grass. Also here, I we I, I'd like to make the bigger, a little bit bigger uh, reflection from the human, from our man. And again, uh, adding some light to this grass with the light colors. So before we made some uh, shadows, right? And now we just doing uh, light. Uh, around the man I would like to make um, some more light color to make his silhouette more bright to make the contrast you know if um, on the second plan it's light and you put in the dark object before this it looks even brighter more attractive Thank you. 
Okay, so now it's time to make some more contrast and now you can take just black color or you can, as I mentioned before, better to mix ultramarine and brown uh, and here is even some green which is still cool green and make stones around this line on top of this line to make your shadows even more deep more contrasting And again, to make some more contrast, we can do some grass here. And also don't forget to make reflection from this grass on the water. So now it's time for the uh, leaves from this bridge. I just mix light green. I, I, I haven't mixed actually. On one side of my brush is light green, on another, on another one is a dark one. And here we just making a small tops. Tap, 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 tap. And it going down. So now still I want to make it a little bit more contrasting, a little bit more shadows with black, uh, not only black, it's still this uh, green and brown and small small drop of the white. Mm -hmm. Now I like it better. So now I need to change a little bit uh, the silhouette of um, uh, reflections. So I'm just taking some white color and here I'd like to make these lines uh, a bit more um, straight.
and now I'd like to fix a uh, reflection on the water um, on the bridge side because you see my uh, reflection here is even bigger than the bridge and here I'd like to change it a little bit and make it smaller so I mixed again uh, white and blue sky blue and um, some black color and just repaint it And I'm just working a little bit more with the reflections by making some uh, horizon lines, horizontal lines. Mm, okay. So now we're really <laughs> close to finish and the uh, last drops is I'm just fixing everything I wish to make um, to be more bright. So again, uh, I feel like this reflection from the bridge is not enough dark. I'm just adding a little bit more uh, dark color and blending with what I have already. And I wish my sky to uh, be a little bit brighter uh, because I want to have more contrast between um, mountains and sky. So as you remember before that was grey and now I just like to make it white. White and blue. I think it will be more uh, more attractive, more beautiful and more contrasting with the mountains. Um, so I'm just coloring around them with white and we'll add some blue on top. But if you wish to leave your sky gray, it's also okay as we did before. Sometimes it's okay if you um, made something already but you decide that you want to make it different, that it can be better. And with acrylic it's very very easy to do and oil with oil too. So please always use this chance. But also it's very important to stop yourself in the right moment because sometimes we cannot stop and we just uh, continue doing 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 something. But in the end, <laughs> we understand that there is no actually end. Mm -hmm. So now I'm just adding some blue on top and blending this with white.
Ok, so now we add in uh, the last details with the electricity and um, some more trees on the second plan and I'd like to also uh, so here I'm using a uh, gray and brown color and also you can just um, actually use gray it's straight it's straight uh, but it's just uh, different ruckers of the picture that's why it looks like it's fallen on the side And just uh, adding some horizontal small lines around the man and buffalo. Okay, and now we need to um, do a little bit more uh, for the uh, this bridge. I'm just I'll just fix a little bit more um, this reflection here. It's again uh, some blue color, blue and white. And also, I think it's very, very important to work a little bit more on the first plan. So it's again up to you. Do you want to do it or not? But on my opinion, I would like to add some stones and some texture of the earth. Uh, and maybe even a little bit more grass to, to again build the space, build the depth of the air. And now you will see uh, it's not much work. It's um, again needs to be just a little bit uh, different colors. So black um, and um, some okra, yellow okra and some white. But also I promised you before but didn't make it yet uh, to make these details on the men. And after we will go to the earth. Mm -hmm. So now time for the some white and okra and now uh, I'm taking also dark brown color. It's um, umber color and it's usually a little bit of ultramarine to make shadows because shadows are always cool. 
if it's a sunny day. Okay, so now you can see like between of the uh, grass I'm just doing some lines, some horizontal lines. First it's shadow. So imagine uh, there is some stones on the earth uh, which is gold, which are gold like a line and we are just making some shadows. So it will be uh, some horizon lines. Small horizontal brush strokes. And with light, very very light, it can be white and okra, and uh, now I'm making uh, some light. So imagine there is some small stones and we are just building stones. That's the result, so I just put some uh, white and okra on top of these uh, shadows. And white and okra also needs to be here on the grass because it's like very very light uh, and make sure you have a very very tiny small brush it's best if you have a long brush
Mm -hmm. You can work with the grass actually as much as, <laughs> as possible. Uh, you can enjoy this moment like a meditation. It's very, very interesting. And uh, I actually love, love to work with the details. And also you can see that I colored uh, the sides already. And don't forget about bright colors for the grass. It should be very bright green and uh, it's very good if you have yellow. Because on the first plan, plan it should be the most bright colors as it can be. Okay, I would like to thank, say thank you so much for being with me on this uh, tutorial. I hope you enjoy this. Thank you so much uh, for Felix for having me on this channel. And I wish you have a pleasant day. Bye bye.